like me better when I'm with you Hey guys, it's Taylor. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing my third video in my hashtag Falling with Tay series and I'm super excited because you guys know how much I love fall. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing fall inspiration. So I'm basically going to be showing you guys a couple treat ideas, a room decor idea, and also my essentials. Also make sure that you guys like this video, subscribe to my channel if you guys are new so you guys can join the Tay Bay family. And yeah, I think that's all I wanted to say. So let's just go ahead and get started with the video. So the first treat idea I'm going to be showing you guys are these pumpkin spice bites and these are so delicious. So what you will need for this is obviously a bowl and then 1 3 4 cup of oat flour and then 2 tablespoons of sugar and then followed by 1 tablespoon of pumpkin pie spice and then just whisk that all together. Then in a separate bowl pour in 1 4 cup of almond butter and then 1 4 cup of maple syrup and then you will just want to put that in the microwave until it's fully melted and I did about 45 seconds and then to that mixture just add in a half a cup of pumpkin puree and one teaspoon of vanilla extract and whisk that all together. And then pour that mixture into your dry ingredients that we made earlier and whisk that all together. Now this next step is optional, but it's to add in chocolate chips, and of course I did because who does not love chocolate? And honestly, this just made them taste so much better. Then you want to start rolling the mixture into little balls and this was kind of hard to show on camera but it's okay and then just roll the balls around in some cinnamon and sugar and yeah that's pretty much all that you have to do and i love this treat because it was really easy to make and they tasted really good and also you do not have to bake these in the oven either which is so nice they say she's in the class 18 stuck in her daydream been this way since 18 to make this white hot chocolate, you will need two cups of milk, a half a cup of white chocolate chips, and also one fourth teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. So start by pouring your milk into a pot and then just turn the stove on to about medium heat. And I'm just heating the milk until it almost comes to a boil, but not quite. <laughs> And then it's time to pour in the white chocolate chips and the pumpkin pie spice and just stir that until it's all blended in. And then once it's done, you can pour it into a mug like this one and drink it. And I got this mug at the dollar store and it is so huge. And this is obviously optional, but I added some whipped cream because I love whipped cream. And also I added more pumpkin pie spice to the top to make it look pretty. And yeah, this drink is literally so amazing. And if you like white chocolate, then I definitely recommend trying this drink out. <laughs> To make this fall wreath, all you need is a wreath, some ribbon, and a leaves garland. So you just want to start out by gluing a piece of the ribbon down, and you can put the leaves on first if you want to, but I chose to do the ribbon first just because I thought it would be easier. And then I just wrapped the ribbon around the wreath, and I just kept gluing as I went so it would stay in place. And I chose this really cute polka dot ribbon because it was just screaming fall to me, and I love it so much. And then after I had all the ribbon on, I just took my leaf garland thingy, and I just wrapped it around and this was so hard to do on camera I don't really know why but it was but I finally got it on and I just love how this turned out and it is so cute and it just screams fall to me So my first fall essential is definitely music and I recently made a fall playlist on Spotify and I actually made a video about it as well and it basically just has like all of my favorite fall songs on it so if you guys want to see that or listen to my fall playlist then I will definitely link them down below for you guys. My next essential is pumpkin spice lattes, of course, the most basic drink for the fall time, but I can't help it guys, it's just so good. It's like the perfect amount of sweetness in one drink, and I just love it, and once you try it, there's no going back. You will be hooked forever if you love pumpkin just like me. 
Next up is a dark lip color, and I talked about this one specifically in my fall favorites tag video, so you guys should definitely go watch that. I know, self promo, I am so sorry. But anyways, I love dark lip colors for fall, especially berry colors like this one, and yeah, I don't know what else to say, so I'm just gonna move on now. My last fall essential is candles, and this is my favorite one. It's leaves from Bath & Body Works, and I light this in my room like all the time because I just love the smell of it, and it just makes me think of fall. You're over my head. So yeah, that was pretty much all for my fall inspiration video, and I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video because I worked super, super hard on it. Also, I have some really exciting news, and that is that I'm going to be doing shout outs in all of my videos starting in my next video. So if you guys want a shout out in my next video, then all you have to do is comment on this video telling me what your favorite thing about fall is. So yeah, if you guys want to get a shout out in my videos, then all you have to do is comment whatever I tell you to on this video. And then in the next video, you guys might be able to get a shout out in my videos. And yeah, I think that's pretty much all that I wanted to say for this outro. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Ooh, I'm a rebel just for